What's up guys, it's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video, that means we already have one of the most important things in common. We both love good barbecue. And that's perfect because my whole goal at Hey Grill Hey is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today we're doing that with a recipe for three, two, one smoked ribs. Let's do it. This is the perfect smoke for the weekend barbecue warrior. You need to plan about six hours for your smoke and five to 10 minutes for prep. This method is based on smoking the ribs first for three hours at a low temperature, a two hour braise with liquid and butter, brown sugar, and then the final hour sauced on the grill. I mean, three, two, one, it's pretty easy. For this recipe, you'll need about one rack of ribs for every three people you're serving. We're using baby back ribs today. To that, you're gonna need a couple tablespoons of your favorite barbecue seasoning. I'm using my signature sweet rub. For the braise, you'll need one cup of apple juice, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and two to three tablespoons of salted butter. Once that's out of the braise, we're ready to sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce. You need about a third to a half a cup. I'm using my everything sauce. While the smoker is preheating, we are gonna prep these ribs. First step is to remove the membrane on the back of these ribs. Some ribs will come from the grocery store with the membrane already removed, but it's always important to check. The reason is because as it smokes, the membrane dries out, it becomes really leathery. All you need is a knife and a paper towel. Using the tip of your butter knife, just work it underneath the membrane between two bones until you have a nice little lip that you can grab with your paper towel. Hold the ribs with your opposite hand, and then just peel that membrane away. Boom. Membrane is off, and we just season our ribs on both sides. These three, two, one ribs are a total game changer. They really started to gain popularity with the rise of pellet smokers in everybody's backyards. Actually, the first time I ever made smoked ribs on my own at home, it was using this three, two, one method. And they turned out so good it's become our go-to for events or parties or potlucks. We make them all the time. Color is great, smells amazing. I've got my smoker preheating outside. I'm looking for a target temperature of about 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using hickory wood. I think it's the perfect complement to pork ribs without overwhelming the flavor. You want a nice thin blue smoke coming out of your smoker. All right, our smoker is 180. Time to get these bad boys on the grill. This lower temperature is important because it's going to allow the ribs to get a lot of smoke penetration without overcooking. That's it, our first phase for this 3-2-1 cooking process. All right, it's been three hours. That means it's time for phase two. We're gonna braise and wrap these ribs. You can really see how the smoke has already been able to impact these ribs. The color on the meat is starting to turn dark and mahogany. They're perfect. We're gonna lay out a large piece of foil on a work surface. Take your ribs and lay them bone side up in your foil. This will prevent the bones from tearing through the foil, making holes. We're gonna sprinkle on our brown sugar. Top with our pads of salted butter. And then we're just gonna fold up the sides and the ends to create a nice little boat for our apple juice. Tightly crimp your foil to create an airtight seal. And then get these back on your smoker. Close the lid and increase the temperature from 180 up to 225. And then we're not gonna touch these again for the next two hours. We're ready for our final phase. You wanna open up the foil on your ribs. Use tongs and be careful because it is really steamy. You can see the meat has started to pull back from the bones in here. That is perfect. I'm just gonna carefully get under my ribs, flip them onto the grill grate. You can discard this juice or you can take it inside, save it, skim the fat off the top, and then add it to your favorite barbecue sauce. 
So this is the one for our 3-2-1 ribs. We're simply going to baste the outside with our everything barbecue sauce. Make sure they're evenly coated. You don't want your sauce to be too thick. Kind of just paint it on lightly like a glaze. The color on this is amazing, both from the smoke and from that barbecue sauce. Close the lid. We're going to let these smoke at 225 for one more hour. Our 3-2-1 phases are all finished for these ribs. Let's crack open the lid and check them out. The color is perfect. You can see the barbecue sauce has just tightened on the outside of the ribs and created this beautiful, shiny looking glaze. The meat has pulled back from the end of these bones about a half an inch. And this is the bend test. This is the true measure as to whether or not your ribs are perfect. Slide your tongs under the last couple of ribs and then give it a lift. When you start to see this shredding and this pulling right here, that means they're done. It's time to take these off, get them inside, and eat. I'm hungry. I could use a knife, but these look pretty darn tender. I bet I can pull them apart with my fingers. These are so tender, it's exactly what you're looking for. You can see that pink layer of smoke ring right in there. The ribs are so juicy and moist. What you got? What do you think I got? I hope you guys will enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Make this one at home, leave a comment, let us know how it turns out for you, and then snap a photo. Post it online, use the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way we can see what you're Whoa. cooking on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. <laughs> See ya.